All right, Kimberly writes, Jonathan, I asked my guy deep questions you suggested and he asked me to quit watching you. Is this normal behavior? <laughs> um, it's, is it normal behavior? It is certainly, a, okay, so most likely he either feels threatened by my content or he's not capable of going emotionally deeper. Either he's threatened by my content or he's unable to go emotionally deeper. So then this is an opportunity for you to ask yourself, does this man have the emotional capacity to be in the kind of relationship I like? Now, folks, I'm not here to suggest you can't be in a relationship with a man who has no emotional capacity. You can be with men who are an emotional vacuum, if you wish. If they pay the bills and take care of you, that's an option. But thankfully, women aren't dependent upon men like they used to be in the past. So, and not to suggest that your boyfriend has to fill your emotional um, basket, if you will, but why would you wanna be in a relationship with someone who couldn't be radically honest with you, where you couldn't be vulnerable, authentic, and transparent? You know, most people will tell you who have been married 30, 40, 50 years, who are happily married, they all say the same thing. I married my best friend. I married my best friend. And what that means is I married somebody that I can say almost anything to. I don't have to say everything, but I can say anything to knowing that it's a safe place. That's what friendship means. So it's hard to say why he's threatened by it. But my guess is it's because he's not able to go emotionally deeper. And by the way, I always recommend leading by example. This is why I always recommend reading these books together. Read this. If you're if you guys are fucking each other, then you should be reading this book. Otherwise, you're just in a casual relationship or a situation ship. And if you want something more, then I invite you to do the work together to decide if this is the relationship I want to invest in for the short term or the long term. And that's my invitation for you. By the way, I also recommend checking the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. This is a brilliant book, a brilliant book to learn how to communicate in a healthier way. So, um, listen, you can tell him I'm saying this right now. Why are you so threatened by my videos? Is there something that you can't share with us? Call me up. I'll get on the phone with you, dude. If you want to get on the phone and talk to me, I'll do it. Because guess what? Your lady wants to go deeper on an emotional level. And if you genuinely care about her, if you really care about her, then why not invest in some of the books I recommend and do this work together? Because listen, these days, ladies, the, the cow is for free. You can get the, what's the expression? Why buy the milk? Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? The milk and the cow are free. There's little or no investment people have to make. So I'm suggesting radical honesty as your investment to one another, to be vulnerable, to be authentic, to be transparent, to go beyond the surface of these casual dating rhetoric that's creating little or no emotional safety together. And I yell at the top of my lungs just like a child would be touching fire. I'm yelling so you don't make the mistakes that everybody else is making. And I'm like your big brother. I've got that shotgun there on your date. And I'm looking your guy in the face going, what are your fucking intentions with my little sister? So dude, I'm going to talk to you right now. What are your intentions with my YouTube follower? <laughs> what are your intentions? All right, Shannon writes in with a question. Question. I've gotten really close to my neighbor who is my age at 40s. He does everything for me and texts me every day. And he is like my best friend. He won't do anything physical with me. Advice? Fuck his brains out. I mean, <laughs> folks, I mean, I just say, listen, I don't have a, I have a filter. I also say this for comedy. What you might want to say is, look, we seem to have a great relationship. Would you be interested in exploring this beyond friendship? Would you be interested in exploring this beyond friendship? Now, that's one thing you can say to him. The other thing you can do is have a couple cocktails and get flirty with him. That's another thing you can do. You can tell him, I'm really attracted to you. I'm physically attracted to you. Just let it slip out in conversation. That might be enough of a hint, but this is the time for your, your green light. This is the time for you to drop the hanky. You can simply say, 
I'd like to explore a, relation, a romantic relationship together. I'd like to jump your bones. I'd like to explore the physical with you beyond the friendship. That's at least an option. And you could even just simply start by saying, I'm physically attracted to you. That gets a guy's peacock going if he's genuinely interested. Now, here's the thing. I invite you to ask yourself, does he have childhood wounds and traumas? Does he have adult traumas? Does he do personal development work? Because he may not only he may only be capable of friendship and may not be able to go deeper. And that's okay too. But I'd rather you make effort and fail than make no effort whatsoever. We men are used to it. And by the way, we have been beat. We've made lots of, we make effort and we get rejected. We make effort and we get rejected. We make effort and we get rejected. This is why men's hearts are just as fragile as women's hearts because we've been rejected over and over again. And after a while that wears on our emotional psyche as well. So just un, try to get an understanding of where he's at, where he's at emotionally and give it a try. That's listen, what do you got to lose? I mean, are you really going to lose the friendship? By the way, there's a great Seinfeld episode where Jerry and Elaine talk about not screwing up the friendship if they have sex together. Uh, I would highly recommend looking it up. It's uh, the Seinfeld episode where Jerry and Elaine are talking about exploring sex together, but they didn't want to ruin the friendship. So you might want to even watch that episode ahead of time with them to kind of tee it up. That's just a suggestion anyway. So. Uh, coming back to your question, Shannon, I hope that helps out. Um, and when you say he won't do anything physical, that's certainly representative of being respectful of you. And I don't think it's going to hurt. I don't think it'll hurt your friendship if you're honest with him. It might make it a little bit uncomfortable, but I'd rather you give it a shot than waste your time or or having regret. 